Hi, my name is Rubidiri Victor from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. I'm a multimedia artist working in eight different media, film, music, theater, painting, etc. I'm also the founder of the Artist Coalition of Trinidad and Tobago, the premier creative industry representative group in the islands. The way I learned my craft was by apprenticing to elder master artists. Being multimedia, multi-generational, I was able to see phenomena from many angles, synthesizing unique solutions. I realized that Trinidad and Tobago had experienced a golden age from 1930 to 1956 and that it was one of a series of African golden ages that erupted during the 20th century. In fact, the 20th century could be called the century of African golden ages. I began to investigate the idea of golden ages throughout history, map causes, ramifications and the ways that golden ages would in Af from Africa were different. A golden age is a moment of generational quickening. Genius blossoms, giants walk the earth. Not every community is fortunate to experience one and most don't. I'm talking about the ages of blues, jazz, rock, funk, hip-hop, reggae, dancehall, samba, salsa, calypso, trinidad, carnival. The observation of African golden ages I want to hone in on is that most of its protagonists are young black boys between the ages of 12 and 27, earmarked marked for death. Gang boys, society's most marginalized, without private or public sector intervention, these boys it transformed into genius artists, businessmen, inventors, most without secondary education. Bob Marley, Louis Armstrong, Quincy Jones, Jay-Z, Mighty Sparrow. What is this strange alchemy that allowed generations of boys to be so transformed and in turn to transform the world? An elder of mine said that jazz, dancehall and calypso are not just forms of music but ways of seeing. These cultural golden ages are complete massive social movements that transform communities, nations and humanize the world. And this subject is important because we are at a moment of crisis with the initiation of men worldwide. The rise of right-wing militias, gangs, fundamentalism, child soldiers. My TED talk will break down the unique properties of African golden ages to transform boys into men by cultural osmosis. This will be the first public revelation of these ideas on a mass scale and I could think of no better forum.